Good evening, I'm Shog Mohammed, and this is the 7 o'clock news. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held a meeting today with the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud at Oja Palace in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. His Majesty the King expressed thanks and appreciation to the Saudi monarch for the warm welcome and for Saudi Arabia's honorable stances towards the Kingdom of Bahrain and its people. His Majesty affirmed that Bahraini Saudi relations are a model of brotherly relations that share a unified vision towards all affairs. The custodian of the two holy mosques welcomed His Majesty the King and his visit to the kingdom, hailing the deep-rooted brotherly ties between the two countries. They reviewed the course of historic relations and the development they witnessed in all fields and affirmed their keenness to support all bilateral efforts. During the meeting, His Majesty the King affirmed that Bahrain's supporting stances towards Saudi Arabia are a firm and consistent approach of the kingdom. He stressed that Bahrain will remain alongside Saudi Arabia and support it in confronting any hostile campaigns or attempts that target the kingdom. His Majesty commended the leading role of Saudi Arabia in defending the issues of the Arab and Islamic nations and protecting its interests to maintain the security and stability of the region. The meeting also discussed regional and international developments in addition to an exchange of views on a number of issues of common concern. The custodian of the two holy mosques hosted a lunch banquet on the occasion of His Majesty's visit to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia.
is Mahdi Sikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa today arrived in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia on a visit to hold talks with the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, on the long standing fraternal relations between the two kingdoms, in addition to regional and international developments. His Majesty was received upon arrival by the Governor of Riyadh, Prince Faisal bin Bender bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, Bahrain's Ambassador to Saudi Arabia, Sheikh Hamoud bin Ali Al Khalifa, and members of the Embassy. His Majesty the King gave a statement in which he reiterated thanks to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, and the Crown Prince, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, for their supportive stances towards the Kingdom of Bahrain. His Majesty affirmed Bahrain's categorical rejection of the systematic campaigns and misleading statements against Saudi Arabia, calling for stopping of the launch of such campaigns until the Saudi investigations are announced. He affirmed his confidence in the justice, transparency and independence of the Saudi judicial system. His Majesty the King highlighted Bahrain's commitment to absolute support and solidarity with the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia to continue maintaining Arab and Islamic unity and promoting international peace under the leadership of the custodian of the two holy mosques and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa returned to Bahrain following a visit to Saudi Arabia in which he met the custodian of the two holy mosques. The two parties held a meeting in which they discussed the outstanding brotherly relations and regional and international developments. His Majesty the King was departed from Saudi Arabia to return to Bahrain and was bid farewell by the Governor of Riyadh, the Bahraini Ambassador to Saudi Arabia, as well as members of the Bahraini Embassy in Riyadh. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Chairman of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, arrived in Sharm el Sheikh, Egypt to participate in the World Youth Forum under the patronage of the Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al Sisi. His Highness Sheikh Nasser was received at the airport by the Governor of South Sinai, Major General Khalid Foda, the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs Hisham bin Mohammed Al Jodar. The Bahraini Ambassador to Bahrain, Sheikh Rashid bin Abdurrahman Al Khalifa, the Permanent Observer Mission for the League of Arab States, a number of members of the Bahraini delegation participating in the forum, and members of the Bahraini Embassy in Egypt. The Chairman of the Isa bin Salman Educational Fund and the President of the Royal Life Saving Bahrain, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, today attended an introduction to beach life saving and sports organized by Royal Life Saving Bahrain at El Marasi Beach. The chairperson and founder of Royal Life Saving Bahrain, Sheikh Naila bin Hamad bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, accompanied His Highness Sheikh Isa during the event. The Royal Life Saving Bahrain is dedicated to promoting a safe and enjoyable environment for water recreation through the prevention of water-related accidents. His Highness Sheikh Isa stressed the importance of continuing to develop safe and robust infrastructure for water activities and beaches. His Highness Sheikh Isa affirmed that promoting a safe and water-friendly environment is a key component of the organization's objectives through effective rescue techniques, including CPR and tube and board rescue. His Highness Sheikh Isa concluded by affirming that these events stem from a strong commitment to maintaining a safe environment for citizens and residents throughout the country.
The Minister of Labour and Social Development and Board Chairman of the LMRA, Jamil Hamedan, met the Director General of the International Labour Organization, Guy Ryder, the Director General of the Arab Labour Organization, Faiz al Mtayri, a number of Labour Ministers and Heads of Delegations of Member States and the Governing Body of ILO, on the sidelines of his participation in the meetings of the 334th session of the ILO held in Geneva, Switzerland. The Minister reviewed the latest pioneering initiatives taken by Bahrain in the field of providing further social protection for labourers, affirming that the labour achievements the Kingdom made were a result of the directives of His Majesty the King, the policies and programmes launched by the government, led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, with the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince. For his part, the senior officials and heads of delegations at member states of ILO's governing body held the labour achievements and gains made by the Kingdom and the initiatives it has taken to develop Bahrain's labour market to protect the rights of the production parties.